Hey guys, this is Tame, and welcome to another Toontown Rewritten video. Uh, in this video, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to take over a five-story cog building solo in a loan shark invasion, and the reason for this is I only need like 200 cog bucks, and I'm a little too lazy to go on a mint, even though that would probably take significantly less time, but yeah, I have no friends, so I'm just gonna go in a five-story invasion building and see how I do. And also, I'm going to kind of give a little update on some things for the future, slash talk about certain other things that I would like to talk about. So, um, first thing I would like to do, I've been promising my buddy I would do this for a while. Um, I would like to give a shout out to my friend Alex, and it looks like this is going to be a difficult building. But anyway, yeah, uh, the guy Al from the Al and Tom series that I occasionally post up on my channel, I usually put episodes like once a week or so, uh, he has just created a channel, and it's called Al Plays TTR, and he is currently going to be posting a, not really a walkthrough, but just like a playthrough or a let's play of TTR on a new tune that he created. So, if you have, I'll put the channel link in the description, uh, you can just look down there and go to his channel, check it out, maybe give him some likes, subscribe, whatnot. Uh, but yeah, some people in one of the Tom and Al videos were asking like, hey, does Al actually have, oh wait, never mind, this is a medium level building. It's gonna have a level 11 boss, I believe. But anyway, um, yeah, some people in the comments were asking, like, hey, does Al have his own channel? Like, can we check him out? And I didn't really have anything to say to that, but now I do. So, yeah, go ahead and check him out if you can. So that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about is that, um, I wouldn't say I'm running out of ideas for videos, but I would like to take maybe some requests from the community from, or just from some of you guys out there for videos. Uh, if you have any ideas for something that I should make or something that you would like me to cover in this game, uh, definitely like feel free to post it in the comment section. I will take any and all suggestions so long as they're relatively appropriate. Uh, <laughs> and I will likely make them into videos if they sound cool enough. So uh, the only reason I'm asking for this is not, well, it's kind of 20% because I there's only so many things you can make videos about on Toontown and like post them every day like I try to. And also because I like to be relatively interactive with subscribers and people who watch my videos. So yeah, definitely if you have something on your mind that you would like to see, uh, post it in the comments. And since I only have like 51 subscribers, uh, I will more likely than not uh, try to make a video out of it. And that's the next thing I want to talk about. Uh, I just want to say thank you for getting me to 50 subscribers in only like a little over three weeks. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, I know a lot of my subscribers came from Rocky. Uh, thanks Rocky for shouting out my channel quite a bit. But yeah, I am glad that there are people watching my videos. I've occasionally been recognized in TTR. Uh, some people have run up to my tune and be like, hey dude, like, you post videos online, don't you? And I'm like, yeah, I do. Glad you like it. So that's always a fun feeling to know that you've sort of made someone's life better. So yeah, uh, thank you to you guys for helping me get to that and keep watching my videos because I like seeing people who get happy over Toontown videos. Yeah, not to be extremely awkward, but uh, yeah. So I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna try to avoid using any SOS uh, cards in this building. I don't really even think I have any Unites at my disposal, but uh, as far as I know, I'm just gonna try to sort of do this as cleanly as possible. By cleanly, I mean like, not using a bunch of rewards and treasures and stuff. Like, the thing is, whenever I solo something, I know that it is pretty essential to see using like a bunch of rewards and stuff to try to defeat whatever you're trying to solo, but I really try to stay away from that just because it's not very fun. Like, it's hard to say that you put a bunch of skill into something when you just spam like Bessies or like just use a little old man, use a flippy, use a wedding cake, use like another Bessie, just a chain of things, and when you almost die, you just throw Unite, and you have like 
50 more at your disposal. Like, I like to keep them, I like to say I keep them more vanilla, just sort of relying on what you generally have, uh, not really what you have earned in other VP or boss runs. Uh, kind of, I'm not really good at explaining it, but I am going to assume that people out there understand the point I'm trying to make, so we'll just go with that. Uh, luckily my lure is hitting, even my big magnet hit earlier, which is good. So yeah, I guess I'll cash in my geyser. I'm at zero to go for everything, so I guess that's not too bad. And some people out there may be like, oh, you're kind of contradicting yourself, you're using a level 7 gag, and sure, I am, great, but I mean, I'm at zero to go, and it's not an SOS card, which like is much harder to get back than a level 7 gag, which I could probably get back within 30 minutes of using one, even if I was at 500 to go. Like, there's a big difference between them. So, honestly, I am not too heartbroken if I use a level 7 gag. It's really not going to affect me that much. And seeing them at 0 to go, I mean, it's almost like a... It's almost like completely useless to not use them, if you know what I mean. I mean, if you're at 0 to go, you should really just use it. Like, just do it, because otherwise, your experience is really going to go into nothing. <sighs> Some people might be like, oh, well using it, like, that'll just make it harder for you to, like, use it in later situations, and that'll just make it useless. Well, then again, if you happen to die at some point, then it would almost be the same thing as using all of them in one battle, and not getting any sort of reward out of it, so... In my opinion, it's probably better to use... just use them whenever you can. Uh, if you're at zero to go, just chalk it up, and... Uh, okay, I'll use my head now. Good. I was contemplating using my magnet so that maybe I could try to take out the... Well, here, this will work. I'll take out the nine and wait for the next cogs, and then hopefully I'll get two and I can throw a wedding cake. I generally like to keep, like, things to... Well, let me rephrase that. I generally like to make things as efficient as possible when I'm throwing level 7s just because, well, here we go, gonna contradict myself again. Uh, they're not that easy to get. Now, I may be saying that even though I just said, oh, well, level 7s are, like, disposable and you can easily get them back. Well, they're not easy to get back, as we all know, but they're not hard to get back either. They're obviously, like much easier to get back than, say, a Bessie or something like that. I mean, if you chalk up a Bessie, you're not gonna get it back unless, like, you shop for quite a while. If you shop for at least, like, 20 minutes, you might get a Bessie, so that's the only point I'm trying to make with that. And it looks like that's the last cog, so I guess we can finish this building off, get my throw gag right back, and my squirt gag right back. So, I mean, this wasn't really a video to show, like, how easy it is. Well, it kind of is a video to show how easy it is to solo, solo a five-story building, and I know I didn't get the hardest version that would have a level 12 at the top of the building, but I still consider it a mild challenge, if you would. I mean, let's be honest, it was not a challenge at all. That was extremely easy, and if you have max gags, you can really do anything in the game, and... That just goes to show how easy the game kind of is in general. So, yeah, um, I believe I got all of my... Okay, ready for promotion. So, I'm going to go get gags and I'm going to go CFO. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Kind of weird commentary if you ask me. I sort of went around a bunch of different points and touched upon a bunch of different things. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Rate, comment, subscribe, like, etc. Yay!